वेलकम बैक टू इनफी ज्ञान माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वेरी वेरी एक्साइटिंग एंड चैलेंजिंग वीडियो ऑफ रेडिकल इक्वेशन लॉगरिथमिक इक्वेशन और एक्सपोनशियल इक्वेशन द गिवन इक्वेशन इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन रेज टू द पावर लॉग स्क्वायर रूट एट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन एक्स माइनस वन ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस नाइन एक्स प्लस एटीन एक्स बिलोंग्स टू रियल नंबर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बाई राइटिंग वन एक्सपोनशियल प्रॉपर्टी टेन रेज टू द पावर log of x it will be equal to x as the base of log is 10 so let us use this property to our rhs so i can write equation will become x is equal to square root of 8x square plus 9x minus 1 divided by x square Minus nine x plus eighteen. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So I will be writing here power two, and this side also power two. Now we can cancel the square root with power two. So it is left with x square equal to eight x square plus nine x minus one over x square. Minus nine x plus eighteen. Now our denominator should not be equal to zero for real solutions. So minus nine x plus eighteen. This should not be equal to zero. After factorization, x minus three times x minus six should not be equal to zero. X should not be equal to three and six. Now I can cross multiply. So x square times x square minus 9x plus 18 equal to 8x square plus 9x minus 1. Now I will multiply LHS. So I will write x power 4 minus 9x cube plus 18x square. Equal to 8x square plus 9x minus 1. Take all the term to LHS. So it will give us 18 minus 8. Let me write here. X power 4 minus 9x cube plus 18x square minus 8x square. Then I will be writing minus nine x plus one equal to zero. X power four minus nine x cube plus ten x square minus nine x plus one equal to zero. Now from the given equation, right hand side is exponential function, so this cannot be equal to zero. so left hand side should not be equal to 0 so we can divide both sides by x square let's divide now we can write x power 4 over x square x square 9x cube over x square minus 9x plus 10 minus 9 over x plus 1 over x square equal to 0 now first and last term we will write here second and second last term after minus 9 common so 1 by x in the bracket and constant 10 equal to 0 now we can consider the splitting of this 10 we can write 2 plus 8 and this 2 i will write here in this bracket So I can write x square plus one over x square plus two minus nine x plus one over x and plus eight equal to zero. Now this is one whole square or perfect square. I can write x plus one over x whole square minus nine x plus one over x. Plus eight equal to zero. 
So this is one quadratic equation in x plus 1 over x. I will write x plus 1 over x whole square minus 9 x plus 1 over x plus 8 equal to 0. Now let us consider x plus 1 over x equal to a. So our equation will become a square minus 9a plus 8 equal to 0. Let us use quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. a will be equal to minus b. Let me write formula of once plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a where capital A is 1, B is negative 9, C is 8. So I can write A equal to minus B. So 9 plus minus is square root of B square 81 it will be minus 4AC. So minus 32 divided by 2. 9 plus minus square root 49 divided by 2. Now we can write 9 plus minus 7 divided by 2. 9 plus 7, 16 divided by 2 and 9 minus 7, 2 over 2. So we are having a equal to 8 and a equal to 1. Remember our a was x plus 1 over x. Let me write here x plus 1 over x equal to 8 and second equation we will take up x plus 1 over x equal to 1. As x is not equal to 0, we can multiply both sides by x. So 1 over x equal to 8x x square plus 1 equal to 8x, x square minus 8x plus 1 equal to 0. I will use quadratic formula once again. x will be equal to minus b, so plus 8, plus minus under the root, b square minus 8 square 64, minus 4ac minus 4, divided by 2a. So 2. I can write 8 plus minus square root 60 divided by 2. 8 plus minus 2 root 15 divided by 2 or we can write 2 real values 4 plus minus root 15. Now we will take up Second equation x plus 1 over x equal to 1. x plus 1 over x equal to 1. Again I will multiply both sides by x. So x plus 1 over x equal to x as x is non-zero. Now I will write x square plus 1 equal to x or x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Quadratic equation we will use quadratic formula. So x is equal to minus b minus of minus 1. 1 plus minus under the root b square minus 1 square 1 minus 4ac minus 4 over 2a. So 2. 1 plus minus. This will become minus square root of minus 3 divided by 2. Now we know that square root of negative 1 it is equal to i. So I can write here 1 plus minus i square root 3 divided by 2 as we are getting complex solutions. So we can reject as we are looking for real solutions only rejected. 
Now, which solution we will accept? It is 4 plus minus root 15. So, let me write 4 plus minus root 15. Now, I will verify whether it will be true for our equation or not. So, let me write three conditions for our equation. Condition number one. 8x square plus 9x minus 1. This should not be equal to 0. So, if I will find out solutions using quadratic formula, I will be having x is equal to 0 0.1 and negative 1.22. So, none of the solution is matching with 4 plus minus root 15. So, we will accept this. Okay. Second condition what we can write, denominator cannot be 0. So, x square minus 9x plus 18. This should not be equal to 0. So, I can write x minus 3 times x minus 6. This should not be 0, which we have already done. x cannot be 3 and 6. So, it is not matching with our solution. Now, third condition is this radicand should be always greater than 0. Let me write here. I will write 8x square plus 9x minus 1 divided by x square minus 9x plus 18. This should be greater than 0. Now, I will factor. I will write here x minus 0 0.1 and x plus 1.22. Numerator only. Denominator was x minus 3 times x minus 6. This should be greater than 0. Now, I will use number line. That method we can use here. So, let me write all the four brackets first. x minus 0 0.1, x plus 1.22. Third bracket x minus 3. Fourth bracket x minus 6. Okay, now I will write the critical points. So it will be the leftmost, it is minus 1.22. Then we have 0 0.1. Then we have 3. And then we have 6. Once x is greater than 0 0.1, this bracket will be positive. So, for sign convention, I will write here plus after 0 0.1 plus plus before that it is minus. Similarly, here I will be writing plus 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 and plus before that it will be negative. After 3, x minus 3 will be positive. Before 3, it will be negative. After 6, this will be positive. Before, it will be negative. Now, we have to collect where we are getting positive multiplication. So, this is positive. Minus infinity to minus 1.22. End point not included. And here we are getting positive. Interval defined is 0 0.123. End point excluded. See, here we are getting plus. So, x should be greater than 6. So, if you will check our solutions, x is equal to 4 plus minus root 15. So, both values lie in the interval greater than 6 and 0 0.1 and 3. So, this is our final and ultimate solution. Thank you so much for watching friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.